Hey, what's going on? It's Rick here. And today I want to talk to you guys about what comes inside of this plain brown box. Really plain. Disappointingly plain. <laughs> but you know what? It's what, it's what is inside that counts, right? Uh, and in this case, it's the HD PVR Pro 60, which is a external capture device, video capture device. Now we could talk all about hooking this up to your computer to enable streaming to Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, hooking up to your computer to achieve higher bits rate, bit rates for a great quality uh, video of your video games. Um, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about why I picked it up. And by the way, Hapaj did not send this to me. I did pick this up from Amazon. I picked it up for the capability to record directly to an SD card without a PC. So I wanted to see how good that was. Because capture I've always done has been through an internal card on my PC or an external card that records to my laptop. And while you can still do that with this, you can record to your laptop, I wanted to see how good it was in standalone mode. Well, I've got some footage. I'll link to it in the description down below. You can check it out if you haven't already. Um, but for about $179, I think if you're purchasing this for the SD card functionality, uh, there's got to be a really specific reason for doing that. And um, the reason why I say that is the quality you're going to get by recording to an SD card, it's going to take up to a 4K signal. So it does allow for 4K pass through, meaning you can play your game in 4K on the big screen or on your monitor. It won't pass HDR through. But you can play it in 4K and then it's going to convert that footage to 1080p 60 frames per second on the box. And it records up to 20 megabits per second. When I recorded footage, let's say on the Switch, like um, Super Mario Brothers, New Super Mario Brothers, you, it looked really nice. When you get into some of the faster motion games, uh, Call of Duty, Black Ops, um, Mario Kart, uh, and you saw some of the smaller text in the corner and or fast moving. On a smaller screen, like a, a phone or a tablet, you don't really notice it all that much, but when you get it on a bigger screen, you start to see a little bit of graininess and fuzziness. And that's due to the bit rate that it's capturing at. But again, I mean, to be able to record directly to an SD card, that's still pretty impressive. Um, I don't know that I'd necessarily buy this just for that capability unless you fell into what I would imagine one of the two categories that requires that. Being, one, you go to video game conventions a lot and you need to capture footage for whatever reason, your website, your channel, and they don't allow you to hook up, let's say, a laptop and all this gear. This is a good option, right? You can just plug in your HDMI cables to the display and the console and then use the button on the top to record your footage. Number two is maybe you're in a family that has limited access to computers. A family computer is all you've got. You can't be using it all the time. Well, guess what? This is a good option as well to capture footage. You cannot stream without a PC, but to capture footage, it's a good idea because you can record that SD card and then pop it in your computer later to upload or edit if you see fit. Um, just know you're not going to get that same level of quality if you're connecting this to a computer or using an internal capture card. So one other thing I'll mention that you should know, it's got a snapshot button on the front. If you hit that, it takes a snapshot of your game footage. At the time of this video, there is an issue with that. It kind of puts this weird halo effect around images and text. Uh, I reached out to Hapaj. They told me that's a known issue. They're going to fix it in an upcoming firmware release. And then you also have uh, a headphone jack on the front as well as um, a controller jack. Um, what this is used for is the headphone is for your microphone, so you can do voiceover. Uh, and then the game controller is for, uh, let's say, teammate chat, party chat, things like that. And yes, that does work in standalone mode as well. So for about $179, um, if you really need that SD card functionality and this is all you're purchasing it for, it's probably one of the better ones on the market. There's only a small handful of them, uh, but this one works pretty well. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Is this something you would use? For me, uh, I'm going to stick with my internal capture card. I really don't have the need for the SD card recording. I wanted to test it out just because it's easy. You don't have to hook things up via computer. You just plug, hit uh, record, hit record to stop, and you're done. Uh, but there is a trade-off in quality. So simplicity versus quality. What would you choose? Hey, before I wrap it up, do want to let you know, 
I've got a couple of t-shirts to give away. Now, Hapaj, as I mentioned, they did not send that to me. I actually purchased that on my own. Uh, but they sent me these t-shirts after they saw a couple of the videos that I was creating, and they said, do you want to give these away? I said, sure, why not? So it is Hapaj, keep calm and stream on. If you want one, all you got to do, be a subscriber to the channel. If you're not, hit subscribe, leave a comment down below. And over the next week or so, I'll pick a couple of people at random, and you'll get a t-shirt. So. Uh, let me know what you think of the video in the comments down below. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them there as well. And I'll catch you guys next time.